In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to validate a form using jQuery. So like if I click this submit button, it will go ahead and validate the form. Even though, let's go ahead and put a name in. Okay. It will also validate to see if it's a valid, uh, valid email. So let's go ahead and go into Dreamweaver and, and see how we'll do this. Okay, first and foremost, just in case if the user's browser has JavaScript uh, disabled, I've gone ahead and made a fallback to a PHP uh, form validation. You should always have a PHP form validation no matter what, just in case if JavaScript's enabled. Okay, so let's look at the form. I have a very simple form that's self-submitting. Um, each input has its own, its own ID, which I'm going to use jQuery to grab the value for it. I'm using some of the new HTML5 form features, such as placeholder, and also the input type equals email. If um, the browser doesn't recognize uh, support that form, like a uh, type equals email, it would just go ahead and convert it back to type equals text so you don't have to worry about workarounds for uh, for like Internet Explorer. And the placeholder is supported by Safari. I think Opera has uh, support for it, Firefox does, and uh, Chrome. You can also, uh, Internet Explorer 9 doesn't support it, but there's also jQuery workaround so you can you know do that but I'm not going to get into that today okay so let's go ahead and start the validation so let's go ahead and get this up and running okay so we want to listen out for the ID of the submit button and we want to see when it's clicked. So a lot of people use uh, form uh, like to check to give the format the ID and check to see if it's submitted. This works just as well and just as fine. Oh. Okay so we'll click that function. We're going to run a function in here. Okay, so the button is clicked. What, what do we want to do? First things first, uh, we're going to be checking to see if this is a uh, valid email, so we need a regular expression. I have this saved for time, so we we'll create a variable called uh, email reg, which is just a regular expression, which we're going to uh, check the email input. Uh, compare it to to see if it, it's actual valid email. Uh, we're going to set a variable called errors and we're going to set it to false. Okay, I'll go over that in detail as we continue. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. If See jQuery ID name. Let's see if its value is equal to nothing. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna append after name. Uh, we're gonna do span. Give it a class of errors. You just hit missing name. Close the span tag. Okay. And now we're going to take the variable uh, errors and we're going to make this equal true. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do one the same thing for 
comment. Okay. Oh, we'll just go ahead and copy this. Change that. And then we can do the same thing for email. Okay. So now we're going to so now we're checking to see if each of these fields are empty. Okay? And then you notice that we've changed the uh the variable uh errors to true. Okay, so let's go ahead and Okay, errors. So we'll create an if statement right here. Uh, if errors equals is equal to true, we're going to go ahead and return false. Now returning false stops the page it, so it doesn't send anything and once it's uh stopped all of the messages are going to pop up if it's not uh if it's not uh equal to uh true we're just going to go ahead and return true so therefore once uh we hit enter everything is going to go ahead and proceed the form uh the pretty much the action of submitting the form would go ahead and proceed and it would go to the server and then the server would do the validation so let's go ahead and save this refresh click the submit button there we go now if we was just to put John Doe at email dot com comment okay so everything goes through so but like let's just put email here okay you see that the validations working all right now we gotta make sure this is a valid email address Firefox automatic is uh, is automatically since I have the type equals email it's going to automatically validate but the jQuery one is going to do a fallback just in case if that um, inputs not recognized input type it will uh, validate f for us so let's go ahead and do this right here after e after the e uh, if statement for email and do else if Okay. Uh, if not, uh, email reg dot test, and then we just go ahead and put email dot value. Okay, and then we just go ahead and do not a valid email. Make sure we change that to email. Return. Actually, no, not return errors equals true save that come up 
here. Submit. Comment. Let's just put email. There we go. Now you see if I keep doing this, it's going to keep it pending uh, the message. So to prevent something like that, we're just going to go ahead and do this. You see that we gave the span class the class of errors, so we can go ahead and do jQuery errors dot remove. So what this does, every time you click the button, here let's refresh. Every time you click, it's going to go ahead and remove it and then it follows the procedure of going down and then seeing that it has to be appended and appended. So it prevents the double appending. So now we can go ahead and do an email.com. Okay, we get the okay message. All right, so that's a, a quick way to add simple form validation using jQuery to any form.